To raise chickens, you don't always need a huge farm. In fact, you can do it at your own house, just like what Soraya Cassandra and Dira Narayana did. The husband and wife built a 7 meter wide and 1.7 meter height cage in their urban house backyard in South Tangerang, Banten. They began raising chickens in 2020 as a sustainable living approach. These chickens help them reduce waste, produce compost, and provide healthy foods. Um, so I never really imagined that it was possible to raise chickens in the city. It was never in my realm of understanding. I was never aware that this was actually something you could do. Um, I think the, the, that's the biggest misconception. I think living in the city is that you're so, you're, you're so, you're so detached from food, right? So it, it's just it just comes to you. It's not grown here. Your food, you, no one, no one raises chicken around you, right? So the food that you eat is always available either at the supermarket, the market, and whatnot. And you feel sort of like, okay, maybe you're, it's not supposed to grow in the cities. You're just supposed to get it elsewhere. And I think that's the biggest misconception is that you actually can grow your food at home. First, we wanted to be able to compost our chicken waste in a way that's that's more. That's, that's more friendly for us in a way that doesn't require us to do lots of work um, in, in terms of pr uh, producing compost. Um, second, we wanted to have fresh eggs. And, and third, we also wanted to have healthy chickens. Um, so we want to have healthy chickens so that we can eat healthy chicken at home. In Sandra and Dira household, always is tossed inside the chicken cage every day. The chickens then eat some of it, such as food waste, while discarding the rest, including plastic. After the chickens finish eating, the waste must be covered with dried leaves to prevent a bad smell. As time goes by, this waste will start to decompose. Sandra and Dira separate the soil, and after three weeks, it turns into compost. Finally, the compost is used to grow plants in their small garden. You need to look at your context. Um, so what's the size of plot available to you? Um, what's your timetable like? Are you able to allocate a lot of time? Because that, that will ultimately tell you the size of your coop as well as the number of chickens you need to, that you, you, should, you should own. Because I think, because people also, you, you, you can't forget that this is a living, breathing being that has needs, right? So they need proper shelter, they need proper food, they need healthy uh, water, they need access to sand so that they can preen and they can have their bath. Um, so I think we need to be able to cater to that as well. Based on their experiences, Sandra and Dira have created a public workshop to help people learn about managing a coop in their own house. In addition, they learn how to give back to nature by taking care of human beings. So this is Gaga and Gaga along with his other chicken friends is actually teaching us that it is possible to keep pet in your backyard as your pet and then aside from them it is also beneficial because it will help us to start practicing the more sustainable and green living so we can just try it and it's really easy to practice this at home Andira Putri and Dipta Adiwiguna and also Gaga reporting for today. <laughs> <laughs>